Our encouragement from the Word of God comes today from Colossians chapter 4, verses 4, 5, and 6. It says, Though I may make it manifest as I ought to speak, walk in wisdom towards them that are without, redeeming the time, and let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt, that ye may know how you ought to answer every man. Now here Paul is asking the Colossians to pray for him, and he prays that he would make uh, the message of Jesus Christ clear to them. He says there in verse 4, to make it manifest that they would understand it. He says that's the way that he would want to speak. And then verse 5 says he wants to walk in wisdom towards those who are without, meaning those who do not know Jesus Christ. And he wants to make the most of his time there, as he says, redeeming the time. And then in verse 6, he says, let your speech always be with grace. You know, always speak with grace and love and compassion. And he says, seasoned with salt, that it would be the right thing to say. And he says, so you would know how to answer every man with love and with grace. And so as you go into this weekend, I'd like you to think of those things. Say that you would speak clearly and that you would speak. Uh, speak with love towards those that are around you, that you would have wisdom as you walk amongst those who do not know Jesus Christ, that you would be that Bible that they would read and that you would use your time wisely with them and said, and always let your speech be full of grace and love, especially during this time in, in the world. Speak with compassion. Listen to those around you. Be ready to give an answer. As I, I've said many times before, you know, when people are complaining and worried and scared, speak up and tell them that you know by the power and love of Jesus Christ that he can bring them through and that he has done it for you and he will do it for them and then be able to share that love of the gospel with them. Continue to pray for those around you. Pray for those affected by the coronavirus. Pray for those who are helping and serving and doing their best to help those around them and continue to pray that God will heal our land.